This right here is the IPR valve, injection pressure regulator. Its basic function is, is to regulate the amount of pressure that comes out of the high pressure oil pump that sends it into the oil rail that sits on top of the injectors. Once it senses, once the sensor senses that there's low pressure, this opens up a little more. If it has too much pressure, it closes and so on and so forth. It's a basic function that it does. And uh, right now what's happening is that when I go on, uh, on the uphills in the highway on high, higher speeds, I tend to slow down a little bit and I lose a little bit of power. It's, it's not a big deal, but the engine light comes on and it just basically tells me that the engine is having some sort of problem. I figured this problem out because I was able to get into the computer uh, through the steering wheel uh, and the, on the little screen it gave me pretty much a code and that code is what told me pretty much what's wrong with the system, with this engine. I've already replaced the, the O-rings on the oil rail. Uh, the pressure is keeping up uh, nice nice and pressurized for the next start. But now what's happening is that, yeah, I'm losing pressure uh, when I'm going up hills in the highway. So hopefully this solved the, the problem. Now let's have a look at the engine and let's see where all the parts are. So this is where that IPR valve is. It's very tricky to get at. That right there is the IPR valve. Originally, I had to get like a deep socket that is open-sided to get to this. But I was not able to find a deep socket. I'm gonna see if that wrench works. So that compressor sends, sends a high pressure through this, um, through this tube right here, right into the engine. Top of the engine is where the oil rail sits and the oil rail sits on top of all the injectors. As I do all these things, I learn all the proper names to everything. And I'm slowly but surely becoming uh, very knowledgeable. Uh, obviously, this wasn't going to be an easy job. But luckily today, it has warmed up. And uh, right now, it's about 4 degrees Celsius. Maybe some of you in the south are thinking, holy smokes, that's cold. Yeah, it's a little chilly. It's sweater temperature, I'd say, for me. I think I need a flat screwdriver. Oh, that's it. The clip is out. And the connection is out. And now I have to get a get the wrench in there and now I can just spin it with my fingers and I know it's gonna leak out a little bit whoa why is that hmm What's happening here? Do I have to break this or what? I guess these new valves have this shorter connector. Those ones are standing up. These ones are laying down for that reason because it hits your compressor. I'm gonna go ahead and break it. I've already kind of crunched it. Oh! Now my online mechanic said that some oil would come out. Now, is this compressed oil? Like, is it gonna gush out? I don't know. I should be wearing safety glasses. Always wear your safety glasses if you're not sure if things are gonna fly at your face. Obviously, that's, that's the best thing anybody should do. Uh, if you're not sure of any job out here, don't do it. Just hire a mechanic. But sometimes, I don't know. 
my level of confidence is through the roof and maybe I shouldn't be doing this myself but I don't know just something just tells me just just do it man you could do it you know and I don't see any oil yet oh I need a, a little bit oh yeah it's dripping oil but at least it's not compressed it's not gushing out it's, it's very loose now the top end over here is broken and maybe there's bits and pieces inside that are um, interfering with, with how it works maybe that's what went wrong with this looks like this bottom seal is there and the top seal is there a middle seal is gone and on the top it looks like a little strainer is missing as well it broke off we have our culprit I believe to uh, as to why I'm losing power on uphills in the highway maybe you want to stick your finger in there if it's not too hot and make sure there's no pieces that are like blocking I'm about to install the new IPR valve very carefully I don't want to drop it because if I drop it there goes 500 Canadian dollars that's more or less 400 US dollars so getting this IPR valve back on has I guess out of the whole project has been the more challenging uh, the more challenging thing so I've been alternating with both wrenches and it's been turning but in all reality I think it's very tight now yeah I can't move that with my hand it's very tight now but in all reality I did need that open-sided socket the deep socket I could have ordered it online I did find it for around eighty dollars but to use it once really I didn't justify the eighty dollars really um, I'm sure there's better deals out there I'm sure in the States it's a little cheaper but to have it imported up here into Canada it's it's just it becomes too expensive and this wrench by the way cost uh, I believe it was $25 and I've wrapped the tag I think I'm gonna return it really so that's that's that for this um, for this episode I will let you know if that was the culprit to this whole thing hopefully it is I'm gonna drive on the highway later this week maybe tomorrow and we'll see if that light turns on again that engine light Thank you guys for watching this episode and I hope you guys learned something. Smash that thumbs up button if you don't mind. That'll help uh, this video, um, you know, share, you know, to share with other people. Uh, perhaps they're looking for, you know, a resolution to the same problem that I have with my Max Force 9. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.